Hi guys, it's Stephanie from Cake Nation and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make Poppy and Branch from Trolls. First we're going to start with Poppy's dress. So I've got some light blue coloured fondant and I'm just making a sort of like dome shape on the mat. Fatter at one side um, and thinner at the top. Using the back of the balling tool just to make an indentation just so that we can have a, a bum area for Poppy and flatten in the top so that when the head sticks on it's got some somewhere flat to sit. Next we're going to work on the feet so I'm just rolling some sausage shapes and then pressing it into the mat to create the foot area. We're going to use the scriber tool just to create the toes. She's got four toes so you just want three lines and then we're going to use the top of the scriber tool just to press in the indentations for the toes and then where the ankle joins into the foot. Once you're happy with that, we'll cut the top bit off and then we're just going to test it for size. Now that the body's firmed up, I'm just pinching together the edges to make it super straight. And the leg's a little bit long, so I'm just going to take off some more and try it again. And then we're going to repeat this for the other foot. So again, making your sausage shape and flattening it one side, putting the toes in and then checking it against the other one for size cutting them to roughly the same length and then we're just going to let these dry for a little bit just to firm up before we put the body on because we don't want them to squash down. So next we're going to work on the face. So we're just going to roll an oval shape and then use your fingers just to create a line across the middle and then just sort of pinching together the top just so that we get the kind of shape that Poppy's face is. Once you're happy going to use our balling tool just to create some eyes. So just some small indentations for the eyes and then just smoothing around the rest of the face to make sure we've got the shape right. We're going to use another tool just to create a smile line. So in this tutorial Poppy's going to have her mouth open so once you've created the smile line we're then just going to pull that down a little bit just so that we're going to have space to fit in her teeth. Using the back of your finger just to smooth it out if you needed to. We are going to fill this in with a different colour so it doesn't need to be totally smooth. It's just that the smoother it is, when we put the insert in, it's actually going to sit a lot flusher to the face. Using one of your tools, just create the lines at the side of the face. And smooth over any areas that you feel need to be smoothed. And just keep working at the face until you're happy with the general look of it. It's hard to tell at this stage because it's not finished. But once you get the, the, a similar sort of look to what I've got, put it aside to dry a little bit. Next, we're going to take the feet and the dress and we're going to stick these together. So I've just got some cocktail sticks and I'm going to stick those through. Using a little bit of water or edible glue just to stick the feet together. And then we're just going to put a cocktail stick through the middle of the body. Test the head to make sure that it's the right size. Smoothing down any edges at the side. And then we're going to work on the nose. So I've taken some of my darker pink fondant. And we're just going to create some a sausage shape. And then either side of the sausage shape create sort of like little lines and that's going to give us the rough shape for Poppy's nose. So you want the bigger bit in the middle to come down a little bit and sort of have two smaller balls at either side. Once you're happy with the general shape you can just stick that on using a little bit of water or edible glue. I've used quite a, a few different tools to gain this shape um, but I will put links in the description box below of all the tools that I have used. And it's just about finding which one's best for you. So once we've stuck that in, we're then going to do the eyebrows. So you just want to roll some really thin sausages, again thicker at one side than the other. Using a little bit of water just to stick those on. Stick them on first and then worry about the shape of them. So you can always amend it there. And then we're going to work on the eyes. So I've got some of my white modelling paste. Just roll in two fairly small balls and just pushing those in place. And then we're going to use some of the same colour fondant that we've used for Poppy's head as the colour for the 
eyes themselves. So then you want to roll two even smaller balls to sit inside her eye socket. If you struggle to get them small enough, then just use a, one of your tools just to cut it in half. Because I sometimes struggle to get the balls small enough to fit in. Make sure they're roughly the same size. Take off any excessive ones a little bit bigger. You just want to squash those down with your fingers. I've put some corn flour on my finger before squashing it down so that it doesn't stick. And then we're just going to place those in the middle of the eyes. Next we want to take some black. So again, using your tool just to get the small shapes that we're going to need for the blacks of the eyes. And then just using some water or edible glue just to stick these on. You don't need too much because too much will make it just move all over the place. Just want a tiny little bit. Next we're going to take some more of the black just to do the um, eyeliner and eyelashes. So you want to roll a sausage shape that's thinner at one side than the other and then place those on the eyes. I find it better to have it quite long and then I can trim off any excess then to cut it to size before I've stuck it on the eye but you can just work whichever way suits you best so just using your modeling tool just to push it in place and make it stick down and then I've got my scalpel there just to trim off any excess and just using this the tool just to push it in place now we're going to roll some thinner strips of black and these are going to form the eyelashes so I've made each eye have three eyelashes on each side we've already done one so you want to cut two smaller sizes and stick those on it can be quite fiddly but I just tend to once I've cut it off I'll use my brush to then place that on the face instead of the fingers fingers can be a bit clumpy and can get in the way whereas the brush tends to give a more um, an accurate kind of place where you want to put it on. Once you're happy with the eyelashes and you've got them in position we're going to do the whites of the eyes so again just some white modeling paste roll in two tiny tiny balls you don't need a lot for this one because it is quite small so I've just again used my scalpel just to cut off some tiny little bits um, and flatten them with my fingers and then just placing them on and pushing them in place you want them to be in the same place on each eye. Um, I've got some of my dust and I'm just going to put this on Poppy's cheeks for a little bit of blush. And then I'm just going to use some super white powder which you just mix with a little bit of water. Um, and we're going to create the freckles on Poppy's cheeks. Now you can't really see them in the video as they are quite small. In hindsight I probably would have done them a little bit bigger. Um, we just put a sort of about seven or eight on each side of the cheek. Once you're happy with the face, if you just pop that to one side to dry, and then we're going to work on the detail for the bottom of the dress. So I've just taken a lighter colour of blue and straightening off one side, and then I've just got a circle cutter and I'm just cutting along that line, and you can see it creates a similar kind of effect to what's at the bottom of Poppy's dress. Once you've done the top, you can neaten off the bottom, thinning it down if it needs to be. And then we're just going to stick this on with a little bit of water. Now you don't want too much water because you don't want it to be sliding off. But once you have happy with the general placement, you can then go down and trim off any excess and then just stick the other bits down as well. And then once you're happy with this, we're then going to take the same colour again and we're going to roll some tiny, tiny teardrop shapes. And these are going to form again the pattern at the bottom of the dress. So just keep going until you feel that you've got enough. Each peak needs three. And then we're just going to use our paintbrush once you've flattened them a little bit and then just stick them on in place. Can get a little bit fiddly and especially if your tools get a little bit sticky but just push them in and keep going until you've got it all covered and then we're going to stick the dress to the feet just using a little bit of water and pushing it in until you're happy with the placement of the feet and the dress 
We're going to go back to Poppy's face now and we're going to just fill in that mouth area. So I've taken a, a sort of like a darker colour, I think it was um, a claret colour or a, a burgundy colour that I mixed for the mouth. And we're just going to roll a thin sausage shape and then push this into the mouth and push it into place. Using your modelling tool just to sort of pull it down on the bottom of the lip and then push it into the, the corners. And just keep going until you're happy with the shape that you've got. You can trim off any excess if you've put a little bit too much in. And just using your modelling tool just to neaten up that line. You can wipe any excess off on some tissue instead of on your finger. But I just find that's a quicker way for me to do it. Next we're going to do the teeth. So again just some white modelling paste. We're going to roll some really small balls and then we're going to flatten these and cut them in half and these are going to form Poppy's teeth. I think from the picture that I had, she maybe had five or six at the, at the front. So we're just going to roll the balls and cut them in half and place them in the mouth. So they only need to be very, very small. Just using your brush just to push them into place. You can see that I'm just working out where to put them and moving it over. You've got a little bit of time just to play with them before they actually get to the point where you can't move them. And once it gets to that point, if you wanted to get it off, you could just use your scalpel just to scrape it off. So just keep going with the mouth, putting the teeth in until you're happy with the position and the amount that you've got. If you guys would like to see specific tutorials for things, feel free to drop me a message on my Facebook page. The link is in the description box below. Um, I'm trying to release at least one video a week this year. So it'd be ideal for me to have a sort of like list of things that you guys want to see. And if you do end up making Poppy, it would be really lovely if you could share that on my Facebook page. And let me see what you've got from my tutorials. Once you're happy with um, Poppy's teeth, then we're going to then look to stick the head on the body. So again, just a little bit of water on the cocktail stick. And then we're going to attach this on. She may need some additional support. Shouldn't need it at this stage. But obviously when we stick branch in, she's going to need um, support to make sure that the head doesn't come back and to keep the bodies together. For branch, I've taken some brown modelling paste. I'm going to roll a kind of like a, a bit of a flat sausage. My modelling paste was a little bit dry. So I've just put some tricks in there and just remixed it. So once you've rolled your sausage shape, you want it to be flat at one side and rounded at the other. So we're just going to flatten this out and then use the modelling tool to create an indentation in the middle. And that's going to give us the bottom of the shorts for branch. So you can see there I've cut it in half and then I'm drawing a V to give the crutch area. And a balling tool just in the bottom of these. And this is where the legs are then going to stick on. Once you're happy with the shape that you've got for his legs. We're just going to stick a cocktail stick through the bottom. You just want to measure it against the size of Poppy as well. To make sure it's not going to be too small. And we're just going to put that to one side to dry. The next thing that we're going to do is make Branch's legs. Now I got Branch's colour a little bit off on this one. The picture that I was working from is um, a picture of Happy Branch when he gets his colour. I think I put a little bit too much green in there. But I will put the link in the description box for all of the colours that I've used and which one I've used them for. For the feet we're just doing exactly the same as we did for Poppy. Exactly the same shape and method. And we're going to stick the cocktail sticks through the bottom of the feet. Again, we're going to stick these onto the dummy that we've got already with Poppy on there. And we're going to stick the legs together as well. You can do the legs apart. It's just that with the legs being together, it just gives you a little bit more of an additional support rather than them being separate and the, there's a gap in between. You will need to leave the bodies to dry overnight before adding the hair. Um, just to make sure that they've 
they've sort of stuck together and because of the weather it's been a bit there's been quite a lot of moisture in the air I did actually add some gum drag to these figures it is modeling paste that I'm using but I wanted it to set extra firm once you've got Branch's legs and, and body drying aside we're going to create his face so again using exactly the same method that we did for Poppy making the line across the face and pushing in the sides at the top and then we're going to use a balling tool again for the eyes now again with the picture that I was looking at Branch did have sort of like a black eyeliner around the eyes and I did dust this in hindsight I wouldn't have done that again I think it was a little bit too dark I've used my scriber tool just to create some crease lines in the eyes because he's got wrinkles at either side of his face and then we're just going to do a smile using the, the modeling tool for Branch's body we've got some light green modeling paste and we're going to roll some oval shapes you're going to need quite a few of these um, but all you need to do is roll the oval shape a little bit pointy at one side and flatten them with your finger and then we're going to use the scriber tool just to create a sort of like indentation in the top to give it that leaf effect and then we're just going to use water to stick those on to his body you want to start from where the crease is at the top and work your way up this is what you should have when you've finished and then we can work on sticking these onto the feet So next we're going to do Branch's nose, he's, so he's got a purple nose, using exactly the same method that we did for poppies, you want to roll a sausage shape and then we're going to create the indentations in either side, making sure that the bulk stays within the middle of the nose. So you can see it a little bit better there that I've marked at the bottom and then I'm just going to put that on with some water. Just reshaping it when it's on the face so this is the bit that I was talking about earlier well there's the blusher going on and then we're going to do the blacks in the eyes so again hindsight I wouldn't have done this again because I think it just made the eyes look a little bit too dark um, I think if you was going to do the black maybe not use as much as what I did on this one just give it a light dusting Next we're going to take some white modelling paste and we're just going to roll some balls like we did with poppies and put those in and flatten them down. Had to take that one out because the, um, the shape wasn't right and it got a little bit of black on it so I just picked it out and started again. So just pushing those eyes into place and then we're going to put some... Um, a lighter blue in the middle of those for his eye colour. They want to be in a similar position to the ones that are in Poppy's eyes, so just kind of in the middle towards the nose area and they are quite small eyes that they've got. Again using my tool just to cut them in half because again there was a little bit big. And then once you're happy with the placement of these, just push them down slightly and then we're going to create the blacks of the eyes. So again, just taking some of your black modelling paste, cutting two tiny little balls off and then sticking those in the middle again. It can be quite fiddly to do, but again, just use your brush to pick them up and place them in um, to the eye and just push them about once they're on there just to make sure you've got them in the right place. Once you're happy with the placement, you just use a uh, modelling tool again just to push them down into place. And then we're going to do the light reflection in the eye. So because Branch is kind of looking to one side, you can see that the one of the eyes is sort of a little bit more into the centre than the other. 
make sure that your light reflection is in the same place on each eye. And then we're going to attach Branch's head to his body. So just again using a little bit of water just to stick that on. Just want to move him a little bit closer to Poppy and change to his feet. So it's best to do that now before it's all stuck together properly. Once you're happy with the placement of the figures, we're then going to work on the arms. So you want to do the arms, they're sort of holding the hands together at the front and then the arms around each other at the back. Now, you want to make sure that you've got the support of the back for the arms joining and the support of the arms for the front joining. It's going to need, I would say, at least two days to dry. So for the hands, I've rolled out a sausage shape and I've just flattened one end. And we're going to check the size against the body. And then we're going to cut in the thumb and the fingers. So once you've made your lines, you want to just soften the edges around the top to make them a little bit more rounded. And trim off any excess. So you can see that I'm just sort of taking off any thickness for the fingers. And then softening the edges to make them a little bit more rounded. Just keep removing until you feel like you've got the shape right. It's always best to work from a picture, so I've got a picture at one side of what they look like. And then we're going to flatten the edge that's attached to the body and use a little bit of water just to stick this to the body. Now you will need to place something there to hold that arm up. So I'm just using one of my sugar flare colours just to prop that up. And then we're going to repeat the method again. But this time we're going to do this for the back of the body. So roll your sausage shape, flatten one end, and we're going to cut in some finger marks and the thumb marks. Just keep playing until you're happy with the shape. So again, cutting your thumb out first. And then we're going to cut two lines, and these are going to form the fingers. Taking off any excess if they're a little bit chunky. And then just smoothing on the edges at the top to make them a little bit more rounded. A little bit of water. And then we're going to stick that to the back of Poppy. And make sure that that's touching Branch's body. So it's going to keep the arm in place because the arm's got something to stick to. But also it's going to help support Branch when he's on the cake. Using again some sugar flare just to hold that in place. Then we're going to do Branch's arms, so exactly the same method as Poppy's. We're going to roll the sausage shape, flatten one end, trim to size, and then we're going to work on the fingers and the thumbs. You can change faces on this one, you can change um, the positions of them. It's just about giving yourself enough time to allow it to dry before taking it off the dummy. Once you're happy with Branch's arm, we're going to use water to stick that on. We've got water attaching it to the body, water attaching the hands together. And just give the hands a little bit of a squeeze and this is going to attach them together so that once that pot comes out of the way, the hands are still stuck in place. We're going to create a hand again for the back. So again, measuring the size of the hand against the body, making the finger marks. And then we're going to attach this hand again around the back of Poppy's hand. So you can see there I'm sticking it on and it's coming around the back of Poppy's arm and then sticking on Poppy's back. Again, this is all helping with the support to make sure that they're attached together properly. So at this point now, I would leave these to dry at least overnight. Because once you start popping the hair on, you're having to apply pressure, which is then going to make them move if they're not stuck together properly. For Poppy's hair, we've taken some darker pink, rolling into a cone shape, and then just using your thumbs to create a little bit of space so that that's going to stick to her head. And then just using the back of your um, tool just to create the hair lines in there. So you can see I'm just pushing it down a little bit in the inside and then testing it against Poppy's head to make sure I've got the right size. 
using a bit of water and we're then going to push this into place. I would still leave your supports for the arms in place while you're doing this and I've got a kebab skewer in the back. This is going to stop the hair from falling over. Then we're going to work on Poppy's ears. So roll some teardrop shapes and flatten them and then just use your Dresden tool just to create a little line in there for the ears. And then we're going to stick these against the head. So you will possibly need to remove some of the hair that you've put on to get the ears to sit flush. So that's where I want the ear to go. I'm just chopping off any excess of the hair and then sticking that in place. This ear does touch Branch's face. We want to just prop that up while it's drying. Remove any excess off the other side and again stick the ear on. Next we're just going to do Poppy's fringe. So just roll out some teardrop shapes and flatten them using your scriber tool just to create the hairlines in there and then placing them on the front of the face. I must admit while I was doing this I did completely forget to put the camera on whilst I did that side of the hair. But you just want to push it in place so you can see now. It doesn't matter too much about the join at the top because she's got a headband to go on that that's and that's going to cover that so that's not a problem. Using a bit of water and just pushing it into place until you're happy with the position of it. Just do some loose strands just to go across as well. And just stick these on with a little bit of water. Next we're going to roll some light green fondant. And we're going to roll it into a long, a long thin sausage. And then flatten it out with your rolling pin and stick this around the hairline. Now this needs to go around the top to hide that join of the hair to the face. And then we're going to take some of the light blue that we used for the dress and roll some teardrop shapes, the same as before. And these are for the head band at the front, so you need nine in total. And then we're going to take some of the green that we used and roll some really thin sausages, sharper at one end than the other. And these are going to be the leaves that go around the headband as well. So again, you need nine of them as well. And then we're just going to put these in place with a little bit of water. I did the leaves first and then I went and did the petals after I'd stuck all the leaves on. So just pushing them in place and then putting the petals on in between the leaves. So once those are all in place, next we're going to work on Branch's hair. The same type of um, method as we did for poppies. So I've taken some sort of uh, a dark purple colour, rolled it into a sausage shape and used my thumbs to create the space for the head to go in. And then I'm just using the back of my stitching tool just to create the hairs. Branch's is more flat at the top whereas poppies comes into a little bit of a peak and using water just to stick that on. Again you want to put a um, kebab skewer around the back of branch just to keep the hair from falling back and it keeps the hair in place as well. Once you've done branch's hair we're going to do the ears using exactly the same method as what we did for poppies. And we're going to stick these in place with water, trimming off any hair if needed and just sticking them into place. And once you're finished you should have something that looks like this. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more of my tutorials please click the links on the screen now. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future videos. Thanks for watching.